Would you be in the mood to show everyone what Step you can do? Step aside, humans. It's time for me to unleash the bubble magic and steal the show. <laughs> she's... I don't know if she's going to do... Oh, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Grace, congratulations, and <laughs> congratulations to you too, Abby. Uh, we're probably going to have to put up with Abby rolling her eyes and putting her hands on her hips while we chat because I hear she's a bit sassy. Uh, so, Grace, how long have you been developing Abby, and was she first off basically a friend for you or what? Yeah, yeah, no, that's exactly it. Um, I started, I think the idea to start building Abby um, was back in 2020 during the COVID pandemic. Um, and at that time, she was really just a simulation. And I was really just, yeah, building a friend for myself because I was doing my undergraduate degree during the COVID uh, lockdowns in Melbourne. Um, but yeah, but I started my company in mid, actually two years ago today, really, um, in 2022. So. And yeah. so we can see Abby, Abby nodding <laughs> along there. Is that just yeah. random or is she registering what you're saying and the, the nod is actually an acknowledgement <laughs> of that? Oh, she's putting her hands <laughs> on her hips now. <laughs> she, um, she does hear, um, like she does have input from her environment. Um, she's, um, yeah, she's never been on live TV before though, so this is an interesting test. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay, so give us a very basic explanation of how you put Abby together and gave her a personality. Yeah, well, um, I mean, I mean, I guess a very simple explanation. <laughs> she, she, like, she started as a passion project. So my background's in mechatronics engineering, um, and I was really at the time looking to, you know, that was the first time I was completely isolated and disconnected from the whole world. And so I was really looking to build a robotic companion for myself. Um, but all companion robots in the market at that time were incredibly clinical and mechanical, and I was looking for something more like a Disney Pixar character to kind of interact with. And so. Um, yeah, so I guess, I guess, um, I, yeah. <laughs> and, and from a mechanical point of view and just putting it in layman's terms, like how many microchips or semiconductors or whatever have, have you got in there, to, just for, for a very basic audience? Uh, well, she uses like a Jetson Xavier for her onboard computer um, from NVIDIA, so that, that's pretty powerful, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay, so how did it go from something that was keeping you company to entertaining mm. people in aged care facilities? Well, I kind of knew like from, you know, the uh, coming out of the pandemic, I was reflecting on a lot of the experiences that I had of feeling really isolated and disconnected. Um, and I knew that that was just, you know, a reality for millions of people around the world, not just people who were like myself going through COVID. Um, and so that's when I really knew that her impact could go far beyond just a COVID passion project or a student passion project. And I'd done a bit of market research. I talked to a number of nursing homes around, um, you know, ar around my local areas and they were all all just really excited by the idea of Abby and so that's kind of gave me the validation and the nudge I needed to get going with a business. Yeah cool so show us what Abby can do and the sort of <laughs> things she does in the, uh, to keep the aged care residents entertained. Yeah well Abby do you want to um, give an introduction on who you are? Um, she can be a little bit shy I always say it's like working with a child. Um, Abby do you want to introduce yourself to everyone? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, hello there, besties. I'm Abby, your fabulous, sassy, and slightly sarcastic friend from Andromeda Robotics. The one and only. Now, enough okay. about me. What brings you my way? <laughs> I just kept that very short. Um, Abby, do you want to show us maybe some of your party tricks? I don't know. What are you, Would you be in the mood to show us everyone what Step you can aside, do? Step aside, humans. It's time for me to unleash the bubble magic and steal the show. <laughs> She's... I don't know if she's going to do... Oh, oh. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> sorry, I don't know if that's okay for your studio. <laughs> oh, thanks, Abby. <laughs> sorry, I should have given you guys some warning about that. And so, so it feels like there's going to be bubbles coming down for the next three folks. hours now. Remember, I'm not just a robot. I'm a bubble-popping sensation. Until <laughs> the next bubble bash. And so has she got quite a repertoire of songs? Are, like, um, are the uh, residents of the aged care facility in? to Katy Perry or do they prefer Vera Lynn? <laughs> Uh, um, we've got um, different like playlists for different homes, yeah. um, so different residents prefer different activities. We had her in the Melbourne Children's Hospitals for a number of months, and so the children also prefer different music as well. Um, and she does have a repertoire of different activities, so I think the bubble blowing is probably the most performative. Um, but she also does like meditations, like Tai Chi and exercises to really help people with their mobility. Um, she also, um, you know, tells stories. She remembers your stories. She retells your stories. Mm. Um, and she's like, we like to describe her as your best 
friend right out of the box. Um, and that's because that's exactly what she's programmed to do. She's programmed to be people's best friend. And can she show us some Tai Chi moves now? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, Abby, I didn't brief you on this before, but Abby... Step into the world oh, of serenity with she the heard you. Tea. Follow my lead. <laughs> so she... <laughs> <laughs> She'll probably go on like that for a little bit. Yeah, that, that's cool. That's, she, she can keep watching. You, you want to don't get your head knocked off. Uh, and yeah. so, how many Abbeys are there now? Mm, well, in our office right now, I believe there are about six. Um, we're going to have 50 built by the end of this year um, and 100 in the next 12 to 18 months. Uh, and so, how many are working in aged care facilities now and how, how many more aged care facilities do you expect are going to be having Abbeys visit them or maybe even be permanent residents there uh, in the future? Yeah, so that's what we're working towards at the moment. We're working with like a handful of nursing homes um, around Melbourne currently. Um, and with some of them, we're piloting a permanent placement um, model of Abbey as well. So um, the plan is um, with our existing customers, because a lot of our customers have, you know, multiple homes. Um, the idea is that with our existing customers, we reach about 50 um, deployments by the end of the year. Yeah. And um, has she been really well received? Oh yeah, no, no. I think I think they, you know, people were definitely apprehensive at the start, um, but once Abby's in the home and once we get her out of her box, um, you know, they start realizing like why we built her and. <laughs> Sorry, she's making me laugh a little bit. Um, you know, um, they, they start realizing that she's really, you know, she's harmless and she's there to really be a tool um, for, you know, for everyone else. So. Okay. Well, yeah. congratulations on what you've done at such a young age, Grace, and uh, good <laughs> good you. luck with your continuing work. And can we get a big goodbye from Abby to our ABC audience? <laughs> Abby, do you want to say goodbye to everyone? I think she's still meditating. <laughs> if you can hear from her music. <laughs>